This four door rosewood side cabinet is such a practical piece of furniture and really works in today's lifestyle. It has four covered doors and in the centre you have um, double doors with a central adjustable shelf and that's flanked by two cupboards with brass grills. As I say, the piece is veneered um, in, in rosewood the, and it's on a mahogany carcass. And that's telling you that the cabinet makers, when they put it on a mahogany carcass, it's high end, it's high quality. Um, let me just talk about this area here. So we've got a nice um, shallow top with one piece of rosewood going all the way down, nice and thin. Then we have this lovely applied moulding, which has been hand turned on a lathe. And you can see this is how sharp it is. It's really, really fine turning. On the cupboard door itself, in the corners, you have these carved honeysuckles, which is a, a Regency motif, but look how sharp they are. They're almost slightly contorted by each little petal is moved. It's really, really sharp. And then again, you have a, a D-shaped moulding, brass grills, and behind the brass grills, you have um, silk, silk fabric. When I open the door itself, you can see it's on the, uh, the veneer is on solid mahogany. The interior uh, is deal or pine. The shelf is faced off in mahogany. And you can see this little scratch molding there. So little details like this, is telling you that it's by a good cabinet maker. The shelf is adjustable, so it makes the whole piece much more practical. When I open the pair of cupboard doors here, again, we've got uh, a shelf which can be adjusted, different heights, that can be used for plates, silver, glass, etc. And that's this makes the whole thing so useful, so practical. The reason why I bought this is, apart from it being a useful piece of furniture, it has a great name on it. And here it's stamped Holland and Sons, and then it's numbered. And also, round here, it's very faint, but there it says Tapral Holland and Sons, um, and you've got the address in St James's. So this piece of furniture dates from about 1835 because of the stamp and also because when you see bolts on 19th century pieces, they're circular. If it was an 18th century piece, the bolt is more likely to be square. So that's a little tip. So when you're opening a cupboard or cabinet door and you see a circular bolt like that, that's telling you it's 19th century. So let me close the doors here. So there's no grills on the front panels. You've just got um, a silk decoration. The piece itself is supported on what's known as a plinth base. So it's quite understated. Another clever thing which um, Holland and Sun has done, when you look at it as a whole, it almost, it's inverted, but it isn't. It's, 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 the, it's the way the piece has, has been made. So it looks like it has an inverted break. And so you have this slight little shadowing on the two doors. Very, very clever cabinet making. Holland and Sons, they made pieces of furniture for Prince Regent and supplied a number of pieces of furniture which uh, was originally in Brighton, uh, Brighton Pavilion, which then ended up in Buckingham Palace. So he's a well-known cabinet maker and hugely recognised with a standard of quality and craftsmanship. So this piece of furniture, as I say, it works in so many different places, say in a drawing room, in a dining room, because it can hold so many pieces and yet it's still very, very smart. And then you dress it up in your, in your own house with clocks, vases, etc. And um, 
to make it a practical piece of furniture.